so guys now we are at the first boss fight in chapter five that we can do with maya and mina only we have already completed their chapter as you guys saw last time we have also already got through the the beginning where we had to recruit we had to go ahead and recruit um hector we so we went to the symbol of faith uh, whole big deal, whatever you call it. Oh, you can't see. Oh, okay, cool. But anyway, yeah, we recruited Hector because we had to go through the symbol of faith or whatever they want to call it in this game's um, equivalent. Um, we had to do that, and we had to do that with only the hero. I managed to do it with the hero only getting up to like level six or so, and then I killed them off. So it's just been Maya and Mina, and I also have Hector sometimes just for like the overworld parts, just but uh, not for boss fights. So I got myself here. We are at level 15. Here's our stats here. We got Mina. I got the best stuff I could at the Casino in Endor, and the best stuff I can get in the nearby town, the ship town that I can't remember the name of. So, meteorite bracers on both of them, because that's where you get them from the casino, and spangled dresses are the best defense we can give them currently. We will get better stuff once we rest get Taloon in our team, who will also give us like almost all of our fucking money, because he has 99 cautery swords for us to look forward to but yeah uh this is our equipment i also do have sizzle at the moment and we also have the poison needle on maya as well just for whenever we run into metal slimes it won't be useful in this fight but she's got a bunch of healing and one magic water just in case uh we don't have much on mina let's go ahead and do this fight i just did a practice run and i can do it but just in case i don't well you get to see me fail Mina is going to be pretty important for this. They both are, really. They, they, they're they a duo. There's a, they are a duo for a reason. Anyway, these guys are going to go, haha, you're dumb human. How dare you try to purify the thing? But guess what we're going to. And the first thing we got to do. She needs to snooze Tigergram. And you are going to bang them. Yeah, Maya's got to bang the shit out of these guys. <laughs> Alright. Tigergram's put to sleep. That's the biggest step we could use. Yeah, that's a little painful. Now, we got to focus down on somebody, so why don't we snooze you, and you are going to tap this one. Alright. Yeah, Mamina is very important for this. They're both asleep. Okay. We're both going to attack this one. Good, he's, it's down. Tigergram woke up. Alright, snooze and tap flamethrower. Good. Now we gotta take out those- Oh fuck! Ah! I'm glad she missed. Um... I'm gonna have you sap Tigergram, because Mina should be able to take it out now. Alright, Mina's frozen in fear, but that's okay. She can just- Maya can now just get to business with Sizzle. 20, alright. Mina, you are going to start- Yeah, heal yourself while Maya's gonna pack on the Sizzle. Even with Sap up, uh, Maya really can't do much in terms of regular attack. Alright, uh... You can get- Yeah, you know what? You attack, you're gonna do better than her Sizzle, and she's going to herb herself. It's only a little bit better, but there we go. Mina, Mina's running, phrasing in fear, but Maya's like, gives no shits here. Heal's not a big deal. Attack and sizzle. Uh, oh, Maya's turn. Okay. But yeah, this, we got this. Snooze is fucking paramount in for that. I mean... We probably could have been able to outlast that without healing, but for the most part, it's just safer. Anyway. Oh, and we get a, even a level up. Alright. Oh, she learns Drain Magic. That'll be helpful. Um, it's mostly for dungeons. It's really not usually that useful on bosses, but we'll see. I'll see you in the next fight. I don't remember which one that'll be, because I think we're going to have an open-ended... Uh... Yeah, the next... Where we go next is kind of open-ended, so... <laughs> anyway, see you in the next one, guys.
Okay, I just wanted to quick do a quick show when I after recruiting Tornico here. Wanted to show first off that yes, Nar. Uh, by the way, I named the hero Naramar just because. But anyway, I just want to show off. Yes, she, uh, our hero heroine is dead. This is Tornico. He's about to die. But let me just show you. 99 cautery swords that from his chapter, plus a bunch of abacuses, abacusai? I don't know the abacuses, whatever the plural is of that. I basically got a bunch of those for in advance because of all the money that he had left over. And uh, by the way, I maxed out antidotal and medicinal herbs because it's really good for travel and it conserves Mina's MP for that reason. It's so good. So I always recommend like doing that for whenever you're doing some sort of challenge. And Camaro wings for why not, you know. But that's all I wanted to show off real quick. Thank you. All right, we are in the next boss battle. This is against Kilion, the one that killed both Maya and Mina in their chapter, unfortunately. But, well, now we get their revenge. I just did a test play, and while it's possible to beat it, it's also very hard, and there's a very good chance that I may need to redo this. Now, as you may see, the heroine is alive. And that's because if you don't have uh, the heroine or hero, whichever, Ragnar will be like, hey, uh, I've been you are you friends of the hero? Oh, I've been dying to meet them. Let me see them and all that crap. And they won't let you, it won't progress until you do so. And as soon as you talk to him, you're locked into the battle or dying. So that's why we're here. That's why she's alive. She's, the only thing she'll be doing really is she'll be technically a meat shield until she dies and then we just leave her. So that's all we're doing with her. Our general setup though is this. I got the liquid metal armor because we recently got the magic key. So we were able to go to Endor and buy the liquid metal armor in the secret shop upstairs. Um, otherwise, we basically still have the stuff that we had on before. Yeah, everything else like just the same golden tiara and all that. I didn't change anything with her, though I did put this. I do have the somatic staff on Maya here because just in case she ran out of MP, but we're okay. I had to get Maya up to at least level 20. She ended up getting level 21 when I got Mina to 20, really, but whatever, because Mina levels slowly. The main thing that you want to have for Maya is Frizzle. Once you get Frizzle, you're good. Mina is going to be just healing the whole time while Maya is going to frizzle her ass off. One other thing I should do, however, give you that and give you an extra herb just in case. And while I'm thinking of it, oh yeah, I also bought the Dream Blade just so uh, Maya can sometimes cast snooze. It's not for this fight, it's just for in general. I leveled up over at the lighthouse and just constantly fought, kept trying to fight uh, metal slimes. That was the best way I could level them up at this point until I get more keys. Once I get one more key, there's going to be a certain basement that's going to be the absolute best place. I want to go ahead and equip her with the somatic staff now just in case I want her to attack. It's very rare though. Let's just go ahead and do this now. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to fast forward this, but I'm not going to gonna do my best not to fast forward the fight unless we die and you know what let's so we don't we can save ourselves a moment i'm gonna do a save state right here just in case we do die all right this is marquise de long you are the girls that came for my inkman birds off no <laughs> yep he's no longer here i'm not I'm not really concerned about the story we're just here for the fights. All right. So the only thing Narmara, our heroine, is going to do is cast Poof, so she doesn't contribute to the fight at all, other than being a meat shield for one to two hits at most. Uh, Mina is essentially going to be our tank slash healer. I could chance it with tarot cards, but it's that you don't do those for boss fights. You do those for when you're just training. I think, oh yeah, I also went over to Roseville and bought the Falcon Knife earrings. Those are good sometimes, but for the most part, she's just going to be attacking with her Holy Lance. You're going to start with Sap. Okay. Not bad. And you're going to poof again. 
Heal yourself once just in case. And you're gonna do the frizzles. You know, last my test run. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, she died on the second turn. That's what I wanted. Yep. Just keep on the frizzle train. And this is where it hurts. Oh boy. Yeah, that was a little unlucky. I only have mid heal at the moment. Luckily, we have these meteorite bracers. And good thing Mina can tank at the moment. But yeah, you just gotta keep Maya with the frizzle. Oh, stop attacking like that. I mean, if you're gonna attack, yeah, attack Mina. Mina can take it at the moment. I wanted to get a small heal on Maya. That hurts, and... Okay. We're going to go ahead and heal Maya, because Maya needs it more. Ow. And that's why you heal Maya. <laughs> Keep the frizzles. Okay, scissors are fine. Yes, perfect. Yeah, heal yourself and give me a frizzle. That is so good damage. Okay, wussy scissors. Those are great. I love wussy scissors. We can get away with just doing a heal on Maya. Again, Maya is the most important here. We want to hope Mina doesn't die, but we might need to let her. <laughs> My test run, I didn't have to, but again, it's a little bit of luck. I have to heal Mina, and Maya may die here. Uh, and... Whoa! Mina! Oh, that was Mina dodging. I thought that was Maya dodging. Heal and frizzle, please. Okay, we got it. Yeah, that one's a little bit of luck um, for these levels. If I wanted to be a little more secure, I'd probably level Mina up until she got full heal. Yeah, give me a full suit plate of armor. But otherwise, yeah, you can get away with it 20, 21, but if you want to be more secure, I think Mina getting full heal is best. She just does have Zing, so if Maya did die, there would be a small chance of uh, recovering, but for the most part, it'd be risky. Anyway, second boss battle down. I think the next one is going to be Balzac. But I'll be probably going around doing some leveling and trying to get... Trying to get a uh, certain weapon for Mina. Because she needs a better weapon. Holy Lance is her best until you get to the Waterfall Cave. I just don't know if they could survive it yet, but we'll see. But anyway, see you in the next boss battle. Okay, we're at the next boss fight. It's King Balzac over at Zemkovsva. I, I don't know the new translation stuff very well. Basically, Alina, Princess Alina's castle. Uh, yeah. He decided to take over here. We're going to beat him with just my Amina. I have leveled up since then, however. I made my, got myself up to level 26 and 27. The main thing I really needed to do is get... Full heal on Mina. This is very important. It takes longer than I thought. You might not need... You probably won't need to wait for full heal for Kileon, like I said. It's probably better off because you have to wait a while before you actually get it. But you want full heal for this one because holy crap is it important. Mid heal can't keep up and you need a lot of HP. I've already allocated every single stat seed that I've gathered over the chapters. All HP and strength seeds have gone to Mina. Agility, Resilience, and Wisdom, as well as MP, have gone to Maya. She just has... She's been getting more resilience, but she just doesn't have the equipment pool like Mina does to get the high defense, which is why we're just giving it all to her. I may change and give some MP to Mina at some point. I don't know. But for the moment... We just want to give her, Maya, almost all the MP for the most part. But yeah, doing that is really necessary because one, Mina now get, can tank a little bit and she doesn't have to worry about herself as much. She's mainly going to be healing her sister because once again, the same strategy is going to be happening. 
I'm just gonna zoom through this part. Yeah, yes, you remember me. Thank you. I don't like to do talk the accent. This is the clue you have to see in the form of the god. Yes, yes, yes. I know you must miss your father, but you will join him. And now, time for true revenge. Hopefully. All right. Some th things to note. I gave gave uh, Mina a bunch of magic water because her MP may be in peril here. Um, snooze does not work on him. So, Mina, this is her basically her only time to attack. And I tried sap a couple times. I think sap can work, but it takes too long. You're better off not bothering. You're just better off using Frizzle. By the way, because Sizzle is about the same damage as Frizzle, just does multiple targets. So, just worry about Frizzling. It's the same strategy like uh, Keleon. Alright, Crackle's not bad. Alright, just attacked you. You can get away with probably attacking again. I'm going to risk it. One thing I want to mention... I have on Maya is the Sands of Time. I went over to the uh, waterfall and no, I can't get the Metal King sword like I was trying to get. That only better weapon for Mina. So, but I did get the Sands of Time. So if Mina does die and doesn't is a little early in the fight, I might just Sands of Time. That's something you could do if you're on the DS version and not on the computer like me. But just so you know, and also Maya has one, one of uh, the magic waters as well. For the most part, you're just going to be doing this. Ow, and... Ouch, ouch. Alright. Maya's in kill... Shouldn't be in kill range. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I think if he attacks twice, it's 50-50. And this is where... Oh, okay, that's not that bad. All right, can I get away with a mid heal? 75 would be 150. Yeah, I can get away with a mid heal on her. Oh, wait, no, I can't. My, is my math bad? My math's bad. No, mid heal, I can get away with. You want to try to conserve Mina's MP a little. Yep, 53, 50. So one, basically 106 is her kill part. This is where we need to do full heal. And you just need to keep frizzling. Luckily, I have these meteorite arm bracers on them. Alright, she's in kill zone, but she can get away with being mid-healed. If it does look dangerous for Mina, I do have... I can have Maya heal, but yeah, Mina right now is playing tank. Very good. I could have le over leveled for this too, because what I where I leveled was okay. She's she should be okay unless he gets a critical hit. I'm gonna actually risk an attack. But where your level is south of Endor, there's a there's a little shrine. You can't get through it, but if you just walk around outside it, you can run into metal babbles. It's very risky, but uh, it you can do it. Yes, I can do that. You can uh, every now and then get lucky with killing a metal babble with poison needles or metabol or whatever they're calling them in this. I, I'm, I'm not good with the translation. I know NES version better. Okay. All right. Maya's okay, and you need to heal yourself. You got to full heal yourself, though. Ow. And full heal for Maya. This is a basically a staple strategy for a lot of this. Occasionally, though, Maya won't be the damage dealer, but actually will play support. I uh, can get away with mid heal. But for the most part, there you go. Okay, we did work. It wasn't as dangerous as my test run, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, for the most part, that is the strategy for a lot of these fights. Let Maya handle it, because Frizzle is amazing. But there will be some fights, again, like I said, there. Frizzle will not be your savior anymore. But, there you go. Balls act down. And that'll... Yep, that'll be for this boss. Next boss... Yeah, okay, yeah, I know where the next boss is. Okay, that'll be in Femiscrya. 
so i'll see you guys in that one